we are once again in Adobe InSign and this is part 8 of the video series in lesson 4 working with objects we are more than halfway of this four page newsletter and we're adding text and images and making several modifications to the objects in this document our main goal for this lesson is to create polygons and convert shapes add rounded corners to frames as well as rotate objects now let's begin in this particular step we are using the polygon or the polygon frame tool to create regular polygons with however many sides we want we'll go to the layers panel then choose graphics layer in the tools panel we select the polygon frame tool as i have encircled there it's actually grouped with the rectangular frame tool and ellipse frame tool so with the polygon frame tool active we'll click somewhere here the one with the indicated text click here so once we click that, we'll be able to access the Polygon dialog box. And here we are in the Polygon dialog box. We can modify the settings and options values here to be able to create a polygon. We'll change the polygon width and height to 9P0. And number of sides will be 8. Then we'll hit the OK button. So now we have the desired polygon created in our document as encircled in, in our page. But we're not stopping here. We're going to add an object inside. So with the polygon shape selected, we'll choose the file menu and then go to the place. And we can see here the place dialog box we'll locate stop sign the tif and we can click the open button so in here we have located stop sign the tif and now we have the stop sign in place we can notice that the image is quite pixelated so we'll fix that one to fix it, we'll go to Object Menu, and below we can see Display Performance and select High Quality Display. So with the use of Selection Tool, we'll make some adjustments as shown in our workspace and position the stop sign somewhere here uh, beside the text Wasting Time and invest now we have successfully created the polygon we can save for now and proceed to the next step next we'll modify a text frame by adding rounded corners we'll choose one from the, the page box at the bottom of the document window as I have encircled in red and with the use of the selection tool select the dark blue text frame then click the small yellow square that's slightly below the resizing handle at the upper right corner of the frame four small yellow diamonds replace the four sizing handles at the corners of the frame drag the diamond at the upper right corner of the frame to the left and release the mouse button when the live radius value is 2p0 as we drag the other three corners change two so take note if you hold down the shift key when dragging only the corner you are working on changes the desired corners are now accomplished so we can deselect active frames and then save what you have done so far 
Next, we are going to rotate an object and we'll double click page 4 of our document as it is checked in there. You can see page 4 and we'll select this object with a selection tool. So we'll choose selection tool and click evolve, evolve uh, logo. In the controls panel, choose 180 degrees from the rotation angle menu. The selected image will rotate to 180 degrees as what we have seen in this page. Now we are going to rotate an image within its frame. So with the use of the selection tool, select this image by clicking within the content grabber. So you can see the hand icon inside the content grabber. Move the cursor slightly outside the image until the rotate pointer is displayed, as I have encircled in there. So click the image, then rotate clockwise to approximately 25 degrees. So we're making a clockwise motion. And this would be the result after rotating it. Now we can choose the deselect all and save the file. So far this is how our newsletter looks like and we'll do some finishing touches by tomorrow and eventually our newsletter will be completed by then. We'll align multiple objects in the next session. I hope that you have learned how to create polygons and convert shapes added rounded corners to frames as well as rotate objects in this lesson. Thank you.